So in the last video, I used a simple cube, a couple of array modifiers, but most importantly, the randomized transform tool to create the field of stars you can see here on my screen. And again, that could be useful for rocks, trees, um, and other such objects in your scene. In this video, I want to use the select random tool to randomly apply materials to get a variation not only in the transform, but in the color itself. And once again, that could be useful for rocks, grass, and potentially trees. So as you can see, I've already created three materials with slightly different colors. These are emissive materials, so they're going to emit light and give us a little bit better of a star effect. To see what it looks like right now, we can do a quick render in Eevee. And right now, they all have the same material and they all have this kind of white, maybe slightly yellowish color to them. Now, if we want to add that variety in the colors, we could do it manually. But right now, I have 2,500 stars in my scene, and that's going to take a really long time to apply manually. So what we can do is with the stars unselected and everything else in the scene hidden, so my camera, my lights, or anything else that I might have in my scene is hidden, we can press the space bar and search for select random. What that's going to do is bring up this last operator menu, and the most important piece here is the percentage, and this is the percentage of the objects that we've selected. And I can scrub that back and forth. I might move that down to maybe a quarter, maybe a third. And then what we can do in our materials tab is remove that star one material, add in star two, and then most importantly, in this little drop down arrow, we can select copy material to selected. And when we do that, that's gonna apply that new star two material to everything that's been selected, and we can repeat this process. Notice that we can change our random seed, and we can again remove that material, select star three, and apply that material to the selected. And you can repeat this process on and on until you get the variation that you like. Generally, one cycle through like I've done is often not enough. You're gonna to wanna to go through a second time applying star one, star two, and star three sequentially. But let's take a look at what we have. Again, a quick render, and now you can see the variation in the color, and it's subtle, but you can see that there's some blue, some pink, and some yellow stars in our scene, giving us a lot more interest. Now, something that I might do to improve on this, the scale of my stars is all pretty similar. I, I'd like a little bit more variety. I think the scale of the stars, they're still a little too big. Maybe they're a little too bright, but that's all a matter of preference. And I could come back to that later and change the materials, or once again, use the randomized transform tool to shrink down the scale of these stars. So anyways, that's one of my favorite uses of the select random tool to apply materials randomly and get more variation in my scene.